Hi, my name is Mrs. Kathy and this is K5Tunes.com. This is our second in a series of tutorials for the alto saxophone. First, I want to let you know that Covina Valley Unified Schools uses a book called Accent on Achievement. And when you're going to the music store to get your music book for our program, you want to make sure that you get the one that says E flat alto saxophone. All the books for all the instruments look the same on the outside, but of course the content will be different according to what instrument you're playing. So you want to make sure that you get E flat alto saxophone. Now, last time we learned how to put our instrument together, and hopefully you have been practicing that. You've been adjusting your strap, making sure that the instrument is comfortable for you. The strap really holds a lot of the weight of the instrument. As you know, the instrument is pretty heavy, so you don't want to have to have your hands uh, supporting the full weight of the instrument. Your right hand goes on the bottom with the thumb rest underneath. Your left hand goes on the top. And your thumb in the left hand can go on this little black, or sometimes it's another color, but it's where your thumb rests as well. So your right hand is on the top, your left hand is, your right hand is on the bottom, and your left hand is on the top with your thumbs in those very special places. Now, we're going to look at our reed and how far our mouth should go down when we're actually playing. If you look at the reed, and you've put it on correctly, um, you'll see that there's a little space between the mouthpiece and the reed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually place a piece of paper between the reed and the mouthpiece, just like that. And that's about where our bottom lip is going to be hitting. So I'm going to actually take a pencil and I'm going to draw a line across my reed. You can do this if you want to, or you, I'm just doing it to kind of get you, get get you to know where it is that your lip is supposed to go when you're blowing. Because if I'm blowing my instrument and I'm putting my mouth way far down, and I'm going to turn just a little bit this way so that you can see. So if I'm blowing and doing this, you can tell that is not going to be a good sound. I was actually touching the screw of the ligature that time with my bottom lip. Also, if I don't put my mouth far enough on the instrument, I'm not going to get a good sound either. So what I want to do is making sure that my reed is nice and wet, I want to make sure that my lip then is about where that pencil line is. Now if I just blow by having my bottom lip kind of pouting out, like this, it's not going to sound very good either. Listen to this. So you don't want to have your bottom lip pouting out. Instead, you want to curse your lips just a little bit so that the edges are a little bit tightened. And then as you blow, you're actually going to feel a vibration. Kind of see the shape of my mouth. Not like this. Not really, really tight, but like this. So hopefully you're able to get a nice sound and you'll actually feel a buzzing or a vibration on your lips and that's good. Now the next thing we want to do is look at our first note and then the first note on Accent on Achievement it is B. And the way that we play B is we want to make sure that we have our hands in the proper position where our right hand is on the bottom, thumb is under the thumb rest, left hand is on the top with our thumb on the black thumb rest and back here. And then we're only going to be pressing down one key. The very first large key that you have in the left hand. You can see that we have one, two, three large keys and then a little one in between. And in the right hand, we have one, two, three large keys as well. We're only going to be pressing down one large key with our first finger. Now, a mistake that many beginning saxophone players will encounter sometimes is that they accidentally press the side keys over here. When they're 
thinking that the only thing they're pressing down is just that one key, they're actually accidentally pressing down other keys as well. And when you accidentally press something down with that inner section of your hand, you're going to be accidentally opening the, the keyholes of these other places. The keys you see are moving just ever so slightly. So when I play the B correctly, my hands are totally away from any other key in my left hand or my right hand. So here's the B play correctly. Now listen to it with my hand ever so slightly grabbing those side keys. Didn't sound very good, did it? It wasn't one note. So we want to make sure that nothing is touching. So you actually want to play with your hand in a curved position instead of straight because you can see that it would grab those side keys. So do it in a curved position, both left hand and right hand. So you might want to check on that, making sure that your hand is not touching any other key other than just that first key. You want to make sure that you're pressing just the first key, nothing else is touching, and that the embouchure of your mouth is correct. That'll do it for our first note B for the alto saxophone. We hope you join us next time on K5 Tunes.